wasn't he accused uh, by the government or by some people of being a German spy? Certainly, yeah. Yeah, they did that too because also, <laughs> so the FBI trumped up an argument <laughs> that, you know, well, this guy is, he's supporting, you know, uh, you know, Germany, basically. Now, the reason how they utilize that is Mason also was a multicultural uh, interracialist where he had uh, people that were white that were under his African-American organization right. that were bishops and overseers and stuff like that. Now, remember, like I said about Plessy versus Ferguson, this is against the law, but he does it anyway because of Azusa and what he's been seeing through the years. He just, no, this is God's will, you know. So he does it despite the law. Some people are being lynched for it. Some people are being killed every day for it. He does it anyway. He goes as far as I found out in the FBI files that he creates a law called uh, the Equal Right of Authority. And in his manual, he says within, it's just a constitution. So he created a law, a bylaw within a his bylaw. organization. Mm -hmm. It's called the Equal Right of Authority. And he says that because in America, when a white bishop you know, you, you know, you don't want to have blacks serving over whites and this administratively. So what he does is he says that uh, within our organization, we're going to do this, where a white man can be over white, vice versa. So is he not political? <laughs> Here, Plessy versus Ferguson, he's contradicting even what America is doing. So I see it as him institutionalizing what's, what's happening in Azusa and taking it to another level. So this equal, equal right of authority, it said that it didn't matter if you were black or white, you would be in authority regardless of race. Right. And, and, see, and see, Mason's, his, he, his secretary, his general secretary was white, William Holt, of his national organization. And so he had German descent. So what the FBI did, they found that out and said, oh, see, he's helping the Germans because he's integrating these whites and blacks. He's talking about they can't go to war, <laughs> so they trump up this conspiracy and try to try Mason for treason against the United States. Basically, between 1917 and 1919, they arrest him in Lexington while he's preaching a revival, <laughs> and, and they put him in federal prison and then charge him against treason against the United States. I've actually now, been to the prison in Lexington, Mississippi. It's a shrine now, and there's murals on the wall in this prison to this day of Bishop Mason standing behind bars. It's, it's a bit of living history. It's 